Hey guys, welcome back for another video. So today's project, we're going to replace a bath fan that is no longer working. So it's not uncommon for these fans to quit working. They're only moisture in a bathroom, they live kind of a harsh life. So first, first step um, is to take the plastic cover off. And there's just plastic clips on either side, just to press, to press that in and that'll come right off. I'm going to turn the light off. Take the mall out. Set that aside for now. And this one has a thumb screw that holds the fixture in place. Uh, a lot of times they will have a uh, basically just a nut on a little threaded stud, so you'll probably need a pliers to take it off. Take that loose, then you can take this cover off. And I've already had this apart, just looking at it. Um, but I put it back together just so I can make a video for you guys. So I had this, I had this unplugged, but this is the, the fan and the light just have little outlets that they plug into here. And just to show you that it is in fact not working, switch up, no fan. So go ahead and unplug your light and your fan. Uh, take note of which one they were plugged into. This one has got a white wire on it. It's in that white plug. And then from here, the uh, it's kind of press fit in here. This fan is, let me take the camera. Might be a little hard for me to show with one hand, but basically you've got this metal outer housing here, and then the fan, this plate, just fits into that outer housing. And if you can see here, there's little prongs um, that the that the actual fan motor assembly, those prongs are what actually hold it into this housing. And um, so what we're gonna do, first thing, this has a Phillips screw right here. So I'm gonna take this Phillips screw out. Careful not to lose that. And then once that's out, it might take a little bit of coercion, but that should just pop right out of there. So on this fan assembly, I doubt that I'm gonna be able to show you this on video. Let me see if I can get some light on it. It's hard to see, but on this plate itself, right here in this corner, you can probably see that there's some words there. And on there it says new tone, and then you could, there's actually a model number. I actually took some uh, rubbing alcohol and I cleaned it up well so I could read it. And this particular one, I can just barely make out, it says model 763RLN. So that model number is what you want to be able to find. And again, it's going to be, it's going to be on this assembly. It's probably going to be difficult to see, clean it up really well. And uh, once you do that, then take that model number. That's going to be your key. And then I just went on to Amazon and did some searching around on Amazon and I found the replacement. So if you look at this fan next to that fan, they do in fact look like they are identical. So I think that's gonna work well. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this one installed in the hole. All right, so we're back in the bathroom. I don't know if I can do this with one hand, but I will try. So here's the slots here that these prongs need to go into. Once you have those in there, it slides up and then I just need to replace the Phillips screw. I have to put the camera down to do that. All right, get that snugged up. Now I'm gonna plug the fan in and we'll go ahead and give it a test before we put it all back together. There you go. So 
so. So from here, just plug your light back in. And then this thing, you know, they get all dusty and dirty. I'm gonna clean it up first before I reinstall it. All right, so I got that plastic grill and cleaned up a little bit. Most of the dust off of it. And we'll just put this back up in the hole. And have to reinstall the thumb screw here. Snug that up. Put the light bulb back in. And finally, we'll reinstall the plastic light cover. Light works. Fan works. Problem solved. All right, guys, I came outside so I have a little bit better light, but as you can see, it's an easy fix. The hardest thing about that whole project is finding the, um, the right replacement fan uh, assembly to go in there. But like I said, take your time, and if you look really close, you'll be able to find that model number on there, and then you'll be off to the races. Um, I'll throw this one that I have. This is a, so it's got Newtone brand on it. Newtone and Brone, I think, are probably about the same. I think they are the same company, actually, sister companies. Um, so a lot of their parts um, are, are uh, interchangeable. I'll leave a link below with, the, with this particular one so you can check it out. I had another video that I made um, where, where it was um, just a basic uh, basic bathroom vent that didn't have a fan on it. And in that case, I was able to actually pull one off the shelf at a big box store and the assembly itself didn't fit perfectly, but I just took the motor out of it and stuck it onto the plate of the one that I was replacing. So that's another option that you might be able to do um, with some of these motors, especially if it's that very you know simple simple one that doesn't have a light uh, incorporated into it. And I'll leave a link uh, up above or at the end of this video so you can check that out as well. So appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you in the next video.